Welcome to part two of my How to Roast a Chicken series. In part one, I talked about how to get a chicken prepped for roasting, and now we are gonna learn how to truss a chicken, which will make it uniform in shape and size. So right now, you can see the wings are kind of loose digits. I don't think that's the correct use of terms. And then the legs are just kind of all spread out. So, um, some chefs recommend taking this and cutting it off. Um, but what I like to do is either to fold them underneath themselves or you can also take them and fold them over like that. And do that. So next, what we want to make sure to do we want to get the chicken in a uniform shape. We want to tuck the legs in. And as you can see, once we do that, the chicken becomes one width. How do we do that? So you're going to need some twine. So butcher's twine. How much do you need? I would say about... For me, I like a little extra twine. You're never going to have enough. So I say about three lengths of your chicken. Okay. So we have our twine. We want to flip the chicken on its back. Oopsie daisy. Okay. So now you're left with the breastplate being on top. What you want to do is tuck some of this extra skin right in here so it's nice and even. Um, we'll take our twine, find the center of it. We're going to take that center and we want to loop it around the tailbone, which is right here in the center, you will have this tailbone right here. Create a loop, and that's going to be your anchor for your legs. Once you have that looped around the tailbone, as you can see, it's not going anywhere, we want to tuck in our legs, and there's two ways you can do it. You can Either you can have the twine go right on top and rotate around the legs that way, or you can have the twine go on the bottom and then crisscross like that on top. So once you have your, your chicken legs secure, you're going to want to take the twine and actually the twine is going to loop right around that breastplate. Okay, so, I'm just, so this is just for showing purposes. Um, next, what you want to do is actually gather the wings in there so they are flush against the breast. So just like that. And all you want to do is tie it right on top. Just like that. And so what that creates, I'm going to cut this in a minute. So what that does is that, as you can see, your chicken is now one whole piece. Um, if we hadn't done this, the wings and the legs would be separate and they would actually cook faster because the heat would be able to go in all the way around them. So that's actually why we do this. We want to make sure that your chicken stays completely one shape and one size. Up next in part three, we're going to go into the oven and I'll show you how to actually roast the chicken. And lastly, in part four, we'll be carving. <laughs> 